Hi, on this tutorial, we're going to teach you how to do PID tuning. PID tuning allows you to configure the strength and the motors of your gimbal. This is helpful if you have a heavy camera or a light camera, as there isn't a magical number that can fit all cameras and lens. The default PID settings that's on your ICANN Beholder gimbal out of the box is set for some of the more popular camera lens combinations. However, that might not be the lens and camera combination that you're using. And this is where the video is going to help you adjust the gimbal so that you would get it to stabilize perfectly for your setup. And as usual, before you do anything with the software, make sure that it is properly backed up. If you don't know how to back up all your settings, you can always check out our video that's going to be linked in the description below. All right, let's go ahead and start the PID tuning. Just going to plug it in, connect. And it's going to be on the first tab, the stabilization tab, where you're going to do your PID tuning. For PID tuning, we suggest that you stick to just modifying the D value, which is helps the dampening. Usually, if you feel any vibrations from the gimbal, it's due to the D value being set too high. It's currently overcompensating for the light weight of your camera and lens combination. So for this one, Right now, I'm feeling a little bit of vibration. I want to say right here in either the roll motor or the pitch. The best way to figure it out is kind of just pick it up and kind of touch the gimbal lightly and see if you can replicate the vibration sound and feel which motor it's coming from so you know which one to dampen. From my experience, usually the motor that has the most issue is the pitch motor, which is this one right here. So that's going to be right here in the middle. So I would suggest that you do it by increments of five. So I would lower by five and then just kind of click right. After adjusting the D value, lightly tap the camera to see if you can feel any of the vibrations. If you don't feel any vibrations, then you know your settings are pretty good. Another issue you can run into is if your camera setup is currently too heavy for the default settings. What you would want to do then is increase the D value so that your motors are able to compensate for the heavy payload. I'm going to go ahead and lower the value down to 40 just to show you what I mean. So as you can see also the vibration caused by that when the D value is too low. And what you would want to do is up the D value. As I talked earlier, increments of five is best. You can still see that there's quite a, still some wiggle room. Let's go ahead and continue. It might be hard for you to see on the camera end. However, I can feel it on this side that there's also vibration still. Since this is a light setup, the D value of 55 is okay. However, Personally, I like to keep the D value a little bit higher just in case I switch out the lens. And as before we talked about if the D value is too high, you're going to get vibrations. So I would continue tuning this until I get the vibrations and I know that I've hit my max D value for this lens combination. Since I know this setup can actually take a little bit more on a D value, I went ahead and skipped up to 70. All right, feels very good. And now that I've changed the D value to 70 for the pitch, this allows me to also change out the lens and not have to worry about doing this all over again. To test the roll, I generally tap this side of the arm and to test the yaw, I tap this. 
I generally find that I do the yaw last because it actually has the higher threshold, so it can actually take a higher D value than the pitch or the roll. So here's a quick recap. The D value is basically the dampening in the motors. If the D values are too low, then your gimbal is not going to be stable. If it's too high, it's not going to move or it's going to cause a lot of vibrations because the motors are overcompensating. As for the rest of the settings, I would suggest you don't change them. If for any reason you want to go back to your original default for the D settings, you can always restore from the backup file that you made earlier. In the description below, we actually linked a few popular PID settings that we think are going to be helpful, such as light camera setup, medium, or heavy. And that's it for this tutorial. If you want to keep learning more about the software, you can check out our other tutorials.